before the video starts. I want to announce that I have created Discord channel for everyone who is learning 3D or maybe who wants to learn 3D and let's create big uh, 3D wizard community and start create magic. <laughs> Hello guys, I am back and I want to show you how you can model anything. Last month I spent on trying to finish as much tutorials as I can and I have to tell you, it didn't help me to learn how to model things I want. Apparently I have found this very powerful method on how you can model anything you want. We need to understand that any complex object we can create in three steps. So the first step is gonna be blocking our main shape. Let's say you have found a nice reference image you want to model. The first step is gonna be to find the big shapes that you are gonna use as a base of your future model. You want to use simple primitive shapes as spheres, cubes or planes. At this stage we don't care about how to connect things. The more important thing is proper silhouette and proportions. Next step is gonna be to add middle shapes, just like we added big shapes. You need to understand we don't care about topology and shading problems at this stage. We also don't want to use subdip modifier. We want our primitive shapes to be separate objects. In this case we can easily edit them. The next step is gonna be to add details and reshape our blocking primitives. The next video will show you how you can simply add details to your model. But before that I want to challenge you. Find any reference image you want to model. I usually use Pinterest and try to model it using big and middle primitive shapes. I mean you don't have to only use cubes and cylinders, all I say you want to use simple forms. Add your work to my discord channel and let's make learning fun. <laughs> 